What up guys? It's Chris with Ball Cow Barbecue. Well, winter is just around the corner. And in some parts of the country, that means they close up shop and head inside for the winter. Here in Phoenix, that just means we go outside even more. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Now you've all have heard of the Juicy Lucy. Well today, I'm doing the Fatty Frankie. Let's get going. Now the Fatty Frankie is, is a name that I made up but it's a concept that I have seen before. Basically, it's just a Juicy Lucy hamburger in a hot dog form. Basically, we're taking that classic and putting a spin onto it. So I have one pound of 80-20 beef. To that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of Worcestershire. Got some salt. Some pepper, got some mustard powder, that gives it a nice little savory note and it's also going to go with the seasoning theme that I have going. And lastly, a little bit of rub. I'm using some Luton Booty What's Your Beef Rub. Basically, I just want to keep this nice and beefy. I don't want to go too, too much barbecue. I want to keep that beef flavor in there. All right, mix it up. I decided last second to add some, some garlic in here. So I have this little tube of garlic paste added in here. All right, now once the meat is all combined, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form the hot dog patties. So this is one pound of, of beef. I wanna do maybe three of them. I'm not gonna measure anything, just rough, rough it. Now you don't have to stick with the size I'm using. I just know I just want about three. If you want you, you if you want this to spread out a little more, do smaller ones. All right, so now kind of do go back to school, do a snake, get your hot dog formed. We're gonna do this before we stuff it, just so we get a good form, and we know that we have the right amount of beef and all that. All right, so that's good. Basically, it's about the size of a large sausage. All right, we have our three sausages. Now let's get them stuffed with cheese. All right, so we have our hot dog patties here. Now this method is something I like doing. You don't have to do it exactly like this. I just think it's better to form, form it right here. It's easier to kind of open it up, stuff it, and then seal it back up. But you can do it however you want. So. Now that I have my patties, take a knife, just kind of go halfway through, split it open as if it was a full sausage. Open it, kind of flat out a little bit, make a little crevice. And I take one whole slice of what I'm using is a, is a Munster cheese, Munster. <laughs> just one slice. Folding it in there, throwing it in, then seal it up. Try to get halfway inside so it's equally meaty on all sides and less prone to explosions. <laughs> but once it's there, kind of help. Help form it back up. Squish it in the sides, make it all even. Flatten out any creases you see. And that's it. Now you choose whatever kind of cheese you want. Anything that's, that has a, that would melt easy, because you want that, that ooey gooey factor when you're making these kind of things. 
I'm using Munster um, because it's a good flavor profile for what I'm wanting to do. I want to kind of do a traditional hot dog style or sausage style. So I'm going the, the German route. Honestly, I don't know if Munster is German, but it sounds like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but point is use whatever cheese you want. All right, we have our three hot dog patties, all sealed up, all sides. We're gonna be using my Weber kettle today. Got it heating up right now. But I'm using an inverted vortex, so it has a nice hot side on one side. I'm gonna let these guys slow cook on the cool side. And then at the end, we're gonna put these directly over the inverted vortex, get a nice sear on all sides. And we're gonna see how these things turn out. Man, these things looked awesome on that grill. So the cheese came out of a couple of them, that's okay. So what we're gonna do is now is we're gonna load up our hot dog. So I have, I meant to look up the name of these things. It's like Brillo or Brillo. Um, basically it's a, it's a roll I got from my store's bakery. All I did was I cut, a, cut the top off of it so I kind of make my own hot dog bun. And how I did that was, just take, just take them and good knife, just kind of core out the bread. Then pull out the top and then kind of use my thumb to pull that all in. And you have your own big size hot dog bun. All right, so now I'm going to take our hot dog patty. Got some stone ground mustard. But this is where you can do whatever you want. But this is how I wanted to do mine. And then I have some banana peppers. A little bit of spice, but not very much. I almost wanted, I almost did sauerkraut, but I know not everybody likes that. I probably will on the next one. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. All right guys, got you zoomed in. Get a nice, good look. And I cut this thing open. Oh, it's juicy. All right, ready? Look at that. That is what I'm calling a 
Fatty Frankie. Oh man, you know I gotta get this thing a taste. Got the cheese ooing out there. Mm. It's a good hearty bite. <laughs> oh, it's so good though. That cheese is right there. The mustard and it, I don't know how you guys like your hot dogs, but I love having my stone ground mustard on them. It just has that richer, earthy taste to it, better than just a regular yellow mustard. And if you put ketchup on your on your sausage hot dogs, get out. <laughs> but the cheese is. Cheese is right there. Yeah. Here, let me see. So it's cooled off a little bit. The cheesing out, and you see nice little smokering in there just a little bit. Mm. That's a perfect bread for that, too. If you're looking for a good crowd pleaser, this is it. Just the wow factor of having that in a, in a hot dog form. And you don't have to call it the Fatty Frankie, that's just a name I made up. Call it whatever you want, or if there's even a name out there already, I don't know. This is just an awesome concept. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, if you have a party or something coming up, maybe the next couple of months, something football related, this would be perfect for that. Or that got the holidays coming up. No matter what, just give this thing a try. It is something out of the box. This is a great conversation starter if you're out there on the grill and people start wondering, what's up with these homemade hot dog patties. Well, you can tell them exactly where you found it and send them my way. <laughs> All right, guys, well, hope you liked it. Uh, please hit the thumbs up down below. If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to let you know when I got new stuff coming out. But guys, again, no matter what you have, no matter what you do, just cook it. See you guys.